Welcome everybody to a new jam-packed season of the Discord Football League. This is literally the one season where we will actually be recording the games. We are kicking off the first night here with the first week with the Cool Kids Clan. Red Dames, the worst team in DFL history against the season two champions, the Greenville Growl. Let's see what these guys are all about as we kick off the new 11-week season. They're beating and every here team. we go. We kicking off the game here tonight. And immediately Greenville Growl kick it and it's a touchback disaster. Oh my God, that ball went really close up. Honestly, like the last time these guys played, Red Names won. So yeah, it's gonna look bad on them if they lose, especially after they came off of a Super Bowl. Yeah. And CEO throws the ball and immediately, what just happened there? I think Curry he dies. Freaking died. We got the lineup, we got CEO as the quarterback for like the second season in a row. Here we go. Going long here and looks like Wright goes running it and they get 31 yards there. Incredible. Mobzilla's kind of, I forgot what position we're playing. Honestly. Let's see what this is about. Oh wait, he's defensive tackle. CEO throws it. And immediately gets tackled. For some reason, it doesn't show who attacks in terms of defense, but it does say on the bottom who catches the ball when it's on offense. Here we go, Red Names. CEO throws it, passes it to Curry, and just absolutely got rocked by Eric Irwin. Curry didn't even get a chance to breathe, and the guy got absolutely rocked. This is not looking good for the Red Deadly, I don't care. Oh my god, looks like Mosin's running the ball here, and it's already going to be the first ball. <laughs> Bruh, I thought that was literally going to be a touchdown. He was like right there. Could have just ran faster. Actual Close. skill issue. He's on the one yard line now. If you can't make what it here, I don't know what to tell it. you. Runs it and immediately gets planted, bruh. What's this guy doing? A little Roblox character. Lester Workman out here just absolutely put in the red names to work. If they don't get a just, touchdown, just throw I'm the be ball so at this point. Oh my god. Bro. <laughs> Alan Brandon again from the Greenville Growl. Yeah, we're in the second quarter already. These games are going to go by in a, in a hitch. Oh my and god. Already, second quarter already? They lost yards and they're at the third down. Goes for it and gets absolutely tackled. Bro, at the what is one. happening? The red names are losing here tonight. They're at, they're literally so okay this time. That was they're the second fourth, quarter already. Yeah, this is oh my god. Down. This is literally the fourth. Oh, that time goes down oh, fast. No, it's no. not a touchdown. It's a turnover. How did they not? How did they not get they the touchdown? They had four chances there and they failed every single one. So now the growl are gonna get the ball now. Curve. Last season, Bro, if they get tackled here, it's a safety. Nope. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> He's oh. gone. Clyde uh, Ellis well, uh, is uh, out of here. Clyde Ellis oh, no, ran that, 70 oh, yards. That's the record so far in the season. Sonic on their team. The True. You, you can tell the Red Names defense is good now. They look like they improved. Here we go. Clyde Ellis. Thinking about who to throw it to. Passes it to Wheeler and gets planted. We got a good 20 yard catch though. They're doing way better than the red names were. Red names were stuck at the one yard line over there. Watch him like get like five touchdowns this game. Honestly, passes it and then gets planted. On the oh. We're gonna have Shizu. the same Shizu thing happen. makes him lose two yards. Incredible. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, let's see what Ellis got. Super Bowl champion quarterback. And that is going to be the first touchdown of the season by Marquise Copeland. Literally in the first game, Clyde Ellis has the record for most rushing yards at 70. We're going to kick it. Oh, and it's good. Looks like the red names Didn't are doing do it well while for it last, last um, season. Uh, just the ball like spun like a whole different direction. Oh yeah, that one game where it just curved in midair for the most random reason. Like some guy like got like a fan going on the other side of the field. Where we're outdoors now, so but still the wind can impact impact throw. And here comes Mosin running it, 
and did not get very far. And he went backwards. Mosin went backwards instead of forward. If I were me, I would have just jumped over everybody. Here we go. CEO. Gonna take a sweet time to throw it here. Goes long and passes it. Raiko catches it, but of course that's gonna be ha that's gonna be the end of the first of the first half of the game. So far, it's been an interesting first half. Don't don't you think, Mob? Where's the halftime show from Gucci? He needs he <laughs> True. needs. True. We need a halftime show out here. We go and immediately looks like Growl are gonna receive the ball this time. Considering red names red names are playing home tonight and just. What? Oh, okay. What was he doing there? The what was, AI, what was the AI is not very smart here. Let, let's just say that. The people aren't smart in general. Then again, the, the red names that are an overall of 70, and then the growl are like, what, 83? Here we go. Ellis throws it, and yep, Wheeler's gone. Wheeler's out of here. Look at these three guys literally struggling to take him down. Casey Wheeler with a 68 yard catch. Oh my god. Yeah, red Chad names. Chad is not are wanting to. Yeah, th this is revenge from their first game because obviously the red names humiliated Growl in the second season. And just like that, it's good. 14 to 0. This is going to be a Growl sweep on God. Hashtag Growl sweep. Like, literally. And immediately. Yep, it's out of here. These guys know how to kick, though. They're kicking it out of the field. Red names, on the other hand, we really need me six back. He was a, he was a better player for the red names. Now he's not, he's he's re, he was the only one that that was elevating this team. And you see all the the proud red name fans in, in the stands. Obviously, the, you just ignore the score. Yeah, all like two of the red names fans. Go, so CEO throws it long and Curry, wearing yeah, Curry catches it. Thirty five yards. Mobzilla is gonna be furious about this. Ah. Oh my god, Curry's Curry's doing good in football. Going to his home. Here we go. Looks like Colt got it and just immediately gets planted. Didn't do much with that with that offense he had. Ready, break. Razor, razor. Let's see what he's gonna do here. What? You got the no touchdown. Way. I look away for like a split second and Chad actually gets what? it this time. Chad, Chad Chad's gonna... scoring on what his own team. Doing? Here we go. Let, let's see how good Bootyus' kick is. <laughs> oh, not very no. good. He didn't even get to kick it. They got absolutely tackled. The guy didn't get to do anything. This is disastrous for the red names make right now. Make some noise. Make some noise even though... Why would they make noise? Their team is getting absolutely dismantled. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, yeah, I thought he was going to get them there twice. Could have just ran it all the way through. A little through. cartoony and we'll run. Alright. Offense is back on the growl. What are they going to do here? Thinking about where to... Oh, yeah. Bro, what? He, he thought about Great it too place. much. And oh even my Explo god. Hi guys. Even Explo <laughs> made him lose some yards. That, that's the issue with Clyde Ellis, though. Sometimes he just kind of stands around. We don't want another Dak Prescott situation where he gets injured in the first season. He just got, ran past that guy. Yep. He's oh. It's as simple as that. Gets, it's as simple as that. Brow showing why they're going to end up being Super Bowl champions two seasons in a row. We got, right. like, so many good teams in this in this the uh, Division A and then the other... Uh, the other one got like. Yeah, the A division uh, is the Mickey Mouse team. Yeah. I love we, that show. <laughs> We're already on the fourth quarter. The game's already about to end. And things don't look good for the red names. And he's gone. Never mind. The Clyde L. Yeah, How red names called the bad? timeout. Red names called the timeout. They want to save up the, the time as much as possible. Well. I don't blame them. How bad they are. True. Guys, Maybe they still have a chance to win, but they need a not score touchdown here. Yeah, I spoke too soon. Kenrick Paris with a six yard run. <laughs> he was in Paris. Red names are doing well for themselves right now. I think they'll do good the rest of the season. What? So Damn. Immediately, Mackenz just made him just not get any yards whatsoever. 
There we go. Red Name's going to get the ball once again. They got a minute to score a touchdown in this. And immediately to touchback, they're going to start it up to 25. Ready, break. Disastrous for them. Here we go, CEO. Who's going to throw it to? Yeah, Catches it. Curry Great there. job. Curry barely being able to catch it. Then again, there's a bunch of guys surrounded by him. Ready, break. I bet he loves that situation. What? Oh, okay. I get the funny reference. Go CEO passing it once again to Speen, and this time he gets tackled. 25 yard catch, though. Very impressive. Not as impressive as the ones by Growl, though, but they got 43 seconds on the clock. They got to get something done here. We go red names, and just, yep, we lost some yards there. Lester Workman made him go backwards nine miles or nine yards there. Lester. Lester, he better put these guys to work. We go CEO, come on, bro, just throw it. And he got blocked. Wow. Great job. Adrian Spado got Great right job, in right, got right in front of him and did not let him catch it. Now that's this what is I my call favorite teamwork. Filter. Great job, team. Now they're halfway in the field. CEO's got to come up with a game plan at this point. Catches it. Ryko, wow. Ryko caught it. Incredible. Get a shot of that crowd there. Look at how hyped up there. Regardless if their team sucks tonight, regardless if their team's going to end up being one of the worst in the entire season, they're, they're still happy. Probably the here. worst, I'm going to be honest. It looks like CEO's just desperate. He's running it. It didn't look like it goes well, well for him. can only see the Pickle Lake regards being worse. Pickle Lake Ricards and apparently this game's over. Amazing. The score wow. was goddamn 20 <laughs> 20 to 6. Please, please drive safely. Please drive please, safely. Please, I beg you, please drive safely. Okay, coming up next, we got Thunder Bay Economist playing hometown against uh, the newest team of the DFL, the Washington, the Washington ass swipes over here. They're both 78 overall, so this could be an equally tied game. What, what the fuck? Why is their state yeah, blue? Is blue? That's what that's I'm saying. Blue. This is some uh, this is some irregular grass. Irregular. <laughs> oh my god. Ready, well, I guess they gotta play with this in this aquarium it's apparently. Grass. John Economy, he he should have made his his grass green and just make it all money. Like there's it's not even grass; it's just money laid out on the floor. It's just how rich he is. All of his money. Washington ass wipes making their debut here in the DFL season. And it doesn't look like things are going well for them for, for right now because Cornell's out of here. Kendall Cornell, 44 yard run. Incredible. And it looks like things aren't going well. Then again, we just started this game. Here we go. Throws it and just gets planted. All right, we got our biggest guy with that knows all about football statistics and Gucci. He loves football. He 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 loves it a little bit too much. Here we go. Jackson throws it, and then once again catches it eight yards downfield. Washington, not doing well. These guys are gonna be shit the whole season. It says exactly what their name implies. Here we go. Throws it. And for some reason, or I don't know how he did it, but he caught it. Even with like two, three guys around him, he was still able to catch it. Here we go. They're at the They're at the five. Around the five, and it's not a touchdown. Not even close. Sam Martin blocked it. He's excited to be here. He's excited to be part of a winning team in the Washington ass wipes. There we go, Jackson. Thinking about it. And there it is. Touchdown. T touchdown by Jamal Bryant. Three yard catch. No way. It looks like economists are winning this currently. Probably, yeah. Mobzilla when he got a face CEO in their home stadium. Wait, who's home the stadium? Is good. You're playing in the Minutemen's home stadium. Oh, terrible. They're going to rig the game. So true. I'm, I'm, even I don't even get to play an away game. I have an away game as well. I think mine is home for next week. 
Who are you? Um, we're, gonna, we're gonna beat those pickle faces. Trust me. Oh no! <laughs> you're gonna be a, you're gonna be in Pickle Leak, Ontario. Oh, and immediately that guy tripped, and That's the guy from the ass wipes is just gone and out of here. <laughs> the, Aaron Rodgers. God, the name's so stupid. The ass wipes. And the Economist with with a seven game point lead. And the Washington ass wipes. They're running this thing. He blocked that guy, and he's out of here. Oh my God! Ryan twenty six yeah, yards. Close. Ryan Stevens, good play there. Might consider drafting him next season. Here we go. What they gonna do? Passes it. Oh my God. Drew Beck made him lose three yards. W by the economist. No swan. Or Stevens catches it eight yards. I don't think it was enough for a first down though. I mean, I made some pretty bad draft picks. Um, I feel like the only person that made worse, definitely worse, is um. Rico. Probably the guy who made that. No. Did Rico make drafts? No. No. Okay. Darius Edwards. Uh, I'd say Steve Yo, because didn't he like give a good player? For a bad play. Yes, because he was he was half asleep when doing the picks, and he kicks it and it's good. Good job by Johnny got Westbrook. Oh my god! And it's halftime. So far, no this way. game is not looking so well for the for the Washington Asswipes. I think they need fan to practice favorites. a little bit more. Yeah, the fan favorites. I I bet all my money on them. I bet like my entire life savings and my college funds. On fantasy football of the Washington Asswipes. Now that I think about it, we should have done a fantasy football for this. I think Gucci would go crazy. Hmm. If, you predict the, if you predict Preston the winner team, correctly, you win money. Darius Edwards, what an amazing catch. Two dollars. Three Cromer. Yeah, what the Asswipes go do? Throws it, catches it, and just he did not get enough for the first down. Got to block two, three guys there. Ready, break. What they going to do now? Catches it, and he's out of here. Unless he gets tackled right at the one yard line. Darren Rodgers. He, he has the same name as that one guy. Ready, break. Go, this is just crazy. <laughs> just the ass. What? Ass and TBE, which stands for tuberculosis. Oh God, no! Four yard line. What are? The, what is Washington possibly gonna do? We got two teams that are have Washington in their name. I don't what think do they're in the <laughs> same. Are they in the same conference? Face each other. I don't know. No, they're not. They're gonna face each other at the Super Bowl. For Washington versus Washington. That's a dream match. Oh my god, Gucci. He's, he's deafened. He's just watching the game. Well, there it is. This is uh, very it's almost like it's football and it's it's watching a game. Joe We're Paris. doing commentary out here today. Uh, guys, I found who was in Paris. Joe. Yep. Please explain the joke and looks like you see, the, the joke ass is, wipes the were joke the is. joke because Fred Sykes just stopped him there. What the hell? What the hell is a last name named Sykes? Fred Sykes. Tell that to his parents. And, we'll, and it's gonna I be a touchback. Them. Incredible, amazing. Ready, we got a whole lineup of games tonight. Best one being the Wolves game. Totally not biased. Caught it, and I, I think I that's... disagree. I disagree. Yeah, that that's first down. Good play there. We got two seconds in the third quarter. All you gonna do is thinking about it, and just for a second it looked like he fumbled the ball. So much for that one. I love the soundtrack. The soundtrack's incredible. Here we go. Jackson passes it to McGrady. 
and he gets the first down. I, I, I'm noticing that economists are going kind of taking their taking their time here. They're going at their own pace. That's kind of what you need to do. You need to get as much yards as possible and keep the ball on your field. And he catches it, and there goes Mitchell. Tackled at the 25. Mitchell. Economist, got to call the timeout. Got a, a minute and 27 seconds left. And it, it for some, I don't know how, but Washington's winning this. Economists need to get a, a touchdown here, and they're very close, but it was not enough. Jake Logan. I mean, it just doesn't affect me in any way. Oh, Disastrous. I mean, they're in the they're in the Group B conference, so obviously it won't affect you because they're not they're not gonna any none of them are gonna face you. I'm definitely Group facing them. it, and it's Super a touchdown. Bowl. Troy Devlin is gonna pick up the touchdown winning game for the Economists. Yo, can he make no the kick though? Watch out here, cat. God damn, he got it right down the middle. The kick is good. But we got one of the best kickers in the league. And they oh, love I the economy, know. too. The economy. The, the trap population has survived. That's what I'm saying. How will this looks, affect the, the trap population? The sun is setting now for some reason. Here we go. What? Stevens oh. running it, and Stevens is gone. He just absolutely Stevens. planted that guy. Did you see how he just like put his shoulder up and just tackled him? An ass calls timeout. <laughs> they so gotta stupid. call. They have two timeouts under their belt. They could use both of them so they can at least get another touchdown. He go throws it, goes long, and he gets deflected. Was could not able to make the catch because that guy was in the way. There you go, ass wipes. If they want people to take them seriously in this league to win the Super Bowl, then they gotta win this. And Tom Sharp with an 11 yard catch, they go for another timeout. They can't let this clock run. They got 39 seconds left. I think if they make a touchdown here, they win this. We're thinking about it, going long here, and I think it might have been a touch, a first down. Yep, John Bowers gets the first down for the ass white. I'll be very surprised if the uh, ass whites win. Hmm. Their first victory of the of their rookie season. We go runs it here, and here comes Edwards. Juke that guy out, and oh it's gonna God. be a touchdown for Washington. Darius oh, Edwards picks up game. a 31 yard run, and this is gonna be game point for the Washington ass wipes by one point though unless they go oh for the God. two point conversion and there it is it's successful Darren Rodgers with two points on the scoreboard for the ass wipes and economists unless they could score a touchdown in 17 seconds they can win this but the chances of that are very unlikely Here we go. Throws it. And he got deflected. Seven seconds left. What is he going to do? Mario May. I, I think they'll win. I think, I think they can. Sure. I think they can. He'll run really fast. Here we go. Jackson, this is going to be the last play of the game. And it looks there that like goes. it's the last play for the night. As the Washington ass wipes win this. The score being... What was the score again? I forgot. 17 of 14. I mean, Economist, they did pretty well, though, I will say. Yeah. But I mean, especially yeah, with the time frame. They, they won by a field goal, I believe. What's the next game? I already forgot. Okay, coming up <laughs> next, we got, we got the, the, another rookie team in the Danish Lego Man taking on the team that went on Ew, to the Europeans. finals of the Super Bowl. It was the Hell Hamburgers, but for some reason now they're Louisiana Chicken Sandwich. Let, let's they see what these guys got. They re really bad team in the playoffs. Season. True. They did no draft picks last season, and they somehow made the Super Bowl. Can they do the same thing for this one? Love. You're going to love like to look back on the Get draft up, picks. Get Danish people. Out of your seats. Here, no, not the Danish. Get up, Danish. And already oh, immediately God. it's a touchdown. PCW, that sounds like something. Popeye's CEO, chicken. I don't know why Speen made that his uh, abbreviation. Popeye's chicken Popeyes wrestling. Popeye's chicken sandwich would be PCS. And looks like Jennings is gone. 
Danish Lego men didn't make any draft picks either, but Scott Jennings gets an 18 yard run. Uh, they still have a good quarterback because of Mobzilla. Who did Mob give him? What? Did you take yeah, his quarterback or something? He catches it and gets absolutely rocked. Ryan McGrady with a 30 yard catch. We're going to see who's going to get the most records after the night. Here we go. O'Sullivan, the quarterback, passes it to Miles. And he's gone. He gets the first touchdown and represents Denmark here tonight. Greg Miles with the 27 yard run. It looks like they're going to go for the two point conversion. They're feeling lucky here. Maybe not so lucky because they failed it. Jamal Wells blocked them. He's got two different colored arms. I don't know why. He kicks it. Gonna be a touchback. I have a feeling all of these are gonna be touchbacks. They got really good kicks. I like the part where they do the kicking. Yeah, I like uh, the balling. Yeah. Here we go. Passing it. He's gone and he gets tackled, but he caught it. 20 yards. Phil Phil Barney out here. Oh, Spielman. Jeremy Spielman played played in the Super Bowl. And Jeremy Spielman's gonna or no, I think that's Trey Justice. Yeah, it's definitely Trey Justice. Gets 38 yards down the field. Here we go. What they gonna do? Why is this German child so happy about Jeremy playing Spielman? Fortnite with Cola? Who? What are you talking about? Have you what heard like that like video of, of like the it going yippee? The one with the cat jumping? Hey, uh, maybe? I don't know. Some kids, some German kids, are just very happy about being able to drink cola and play Fortnite at the same time. Battery acid. Mm -hmm. Coca Cola rose metal. Oh. Yeah, Spielman. Thinking about it, and there it is, touchdown by Phil Barney. Yeah, it looked like Spielman got tackled over there, but he still threw, the ball, threw the ball ahead of time. And the Popeye's chicken sandwich going to try to go for the kick here. You can't and be back here, good. chicken sandwich. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my goodness gracious. Danish Lego men are going to lose out here in front of the people of Denmark. Good. None of these people in the crowd have watched a single football game in their lives. This is they their have. very first they one. They have. It's just not this one. It's just it's not American football. It, it's called soccer, guys. Gucci's going to join and like go crazy. Sean Carter just absolutely rocked them. The PCW is, is doing well so far in this game. No thinking about it, O'Sullivan passes it to Miles. We only got nine yards in. Lego men are kind of going slow here, but then again, this is like the first time ever they've, they've played football in like their entire history of the of the country. These are all these are all just soccer players, and they've these are all soccer players. No when football. they heard it was going to be a football game, they showed up, and now they don't know what's happening. Too many crickets. What's going on? That, that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Are they going to go for the punt? Oh, they're going for the punt. There it is. He gets it. And immediately, Biggs gets gets rocked. Mills. Louisiana chicken sandwich. Last play they had was 53 yards. You see the st statistics down below. Now the ball's on them. They're going to end up winning this game, aren't they? Yep. Brown's gone. He's out of here. God, they jumped so high. They call a timeout, though. They're gonna call for these timeouts. Just waste all of the timeouts before the halftime. Here we go. Passes it. Gets rocked again. Second timeout in a row. They're really trying to save up the time here. I think they're trying to get a touchdown in before the halftime. Throws it. Catches it with one hand. Actual, actual skill there. 
first down. You're at the 34. You can definitely get a touchdown here, but there's like seven seconds left. This might be the last play of the game for, for halftime. Gives it to the running back. Trey Justice just juked like three guys there, and it was not enough for the touchdown. We're going to take this thing to halftime, folks. Pretend that Snoop Dogg just performed a, a, a life-changing uh, performance. And then we're back here. No way. The kicks that he's got. Maybe, yeah, they try to get a touchdown before the halftime ended so that they receive the ball here. They'll have an advantage. They can still definitely make one here. Don't get me wrong. Unless it gets intercepted or it's a fumble. It might be the case. Runs it. Spielman's out of here. Spielman doesn't want to wait on the other guys. He's going to take things on his own hands. And he gets 26 yards down the field because of it. Running in 25 in the third quarter. Throws it. There you go. Nice run. By Brad Nalentz or whatever this guy's name is. Got 30 yards. They get closer and closer. They're at the 16. Popeye's chicken sandwich. I'm sorry. Louisiana chicken sandwich are going to get a victory. Passes it to Trey Justice. Trey Justice tried to juke that guy out. Didn't work out too well for him. They're getting closer at the 11 this time. Passes it to Trey Justice, and he's gone. He's out of here. He gets the touchdown. Why did they not play like this during the Super Bowl? That's my question. Seems like they're going to go for the two-point conversion. Passes it. Oh, no. Coming again. That's point. Gucci when he has bad internet. I I'm just on my phone. All right, Lego men got the ball again. They could still definitely tie this game. Not too late for them. Ready, break. Ready. Five. Here we go. What's what's Derek O'Sullivan going to do? I think this guy's name is Derek O'Sullivan. Passes it, and he juked that guy out, and he's gone trying to get some yards in. You see the whole team running up on him. Scott Jennings with the 35-yard catch. They get the touchdown here. They they need to actually go for the field goal and not just try to go for a two-point conversion. He's gone. That guy tried to get him, completely missed. He gets closer and closer. Greg Miles is right near the end zone. We're at the fourth quarter. This is the pressure is on Danish Lego man now to take this win here. Here we go, O'Sullivan. Think about where to pass it to, and he gets the touchdown in time. Greg Miles got tackled right near the end zone, but he still managed to get it through. Looks like he's going to go for the two-point conversion, I believe. Yeah. Going for it, and he gets it this time. This time, it was not a fail. Greg Miles gets a two-point conversion, and now the Lego men are in the lead in this game kicks it here. Now the pressure is on the Popeye's chicken sandwich. Louisiana chicken sandwich. They gotta get a touchdown here to win. They don't want They don't want to win this thing. They don't want to lose this thing by one point. Just let, let Trey Justice do his thing or Bill Nalentz. Both guys are pretty good out there in the field. gonna throw it no he's gonna pass it and get stopped by Jesse Simmon made him lose one yard they're going backwards instead of forward now unless this is part of their amazing strategy here we go nice catch there by Mr. Percy Gill Louisiana chicken sandwich gonna take things nice and slow just how they prep their food but the people here in front of the, in the stadium of the Danish Lego men, they not gonna have it. They want their team to win. Trent Flanagan deflected the ball there. And the Popeye's chicken sandwich now is when they should have made some good draft, because, because, draft picks because right now they're at the fourth. 
and it might be a turnover. And it's definitely a turnover. Looks like Danish Lego men are going to win this thing. Calvin Reed makes them lose some yards there. They can definitely get a touchdown here and just dominate the whole game. Here we go. Thinking about it. There's a guy wide open. And there it is. Simpson. 36, 7, 37 yard catch actually. But this time the, the Louisiana chicken sandwich went for the timeout. And they have no more timeouts in this thing. Meanwhile, Danish Lego men are kind of just chilling here. And it's a nice touchdown once again by Greg Miles. Two touchdowns during the duration of this game. Incredible performance here tonight. Gonna pick up their first win of the season and just gets rocked once more. But they still get the lead here tonight. It's gonna be another touchback. Oh my lord. Go. Thinking about it, Jeremy Spielman's going long, but Bill Nolens catches it down 28 yards. Amazing, incredible, astounding. They got 23 seconds left. They can still definitely got a touchdown. It's only a matter of time, but he gets rocked once again. They got 12 seconds on the clock now. If they don't get a touchdown here. It's going to be the first loss of the season for the Louisiana Chicken Sandwich. Yep, this is going to be the last play of the game. But can they get the touchdown? And they were unable to. Percy Gill got a 23-yard catch. But it was not enough to get the victory. Disastrous. Look at, look at, the, look at the, the, the Danish people. They're celebrating. They're absolutely going crazy. They cannot believe that they're actually winning in a sport. Congratulations to them for beating possibly one of the worst teams in the DFL. Here we go. Coming up next, we got the Bainbridge Ball Lickers. One of the worst teams taking on another one of the worst teams. One of the edgiest teams in this new DFL season, the Austin Hackers. Let's see what these guys are made of when they take on the strong unit of the Ball Lickers. Let's go. It's, it's bright and sunny in here in the Ball Liquor always Stadium in Detroit, Detroit Michigan. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's always sunny there. In West Philadelphia. Ball Liquor's got the offense here. I think it's Sharice, you know, Jerry Parker, I believe. Defensive end might be Sharice Newton. I can't remember. I have the roster. I just, I'm not too, I'm too lazy to check it. Here we go. Passes it over to Parker. And he gets rocked. Jerry Parker, 13-yard catch. It's going well for him so far. We got a minute and 10. Literally, this game just started. We're at a minute, a minute left. It looks like Jerry Parker's going to go out of here. He's going to run 50 oh, yards here. Nice it, play here. Those are all black, dude. I couldn't, couldn't make it any yet. <laughs> Who would have ever guessed? Who would have guessed a team named the Austin Hackers or Austin Anonymous would be in black? Jerry Parker just juked that guy and he got a touchdown for the ball lickers. Seven yard run, amazing. The team's color is red. Former, wow. former DFL first season uh, finalists in the playoffs, of course. And that went right down the middle, the kick is good. Then again, they got one of the best kickers, if not the best kicker in the DFL. We, we got second best, but still, only about like one overall point. It's, their kicker is so good, it goes all the way to like the top of the nosebleeds. Just hit some kid in the head. Hmm. Uh, let's see what the Austin Hackers can do. What are they going to do? Glitch, Austin Hackers. Glitch, what are they going to do? Team. Glitch the scoreboard? And that oh guy's gone God. immediately in their first play. They ran 51 yards. Darren Randall there, nice play. I mean, good job, I guess. You're, you're still on a team named the Austin hackers. hackers, but... They're gonna hack the ball, Lickers. They're gonna hack their, their credit They're card information, the and there it is, it's gonna be a touchdown. 
Darren Randall, 23 yard run. Darren Randall. The two names you don't want to name your child. <laughs> My uncle's name is Randall. Randall. Goofy ass name. Why can I not see anything on Discord? It's literally broken. The Austin hackers hacked your computer. The Austin hackers hacked my phone. Oh my god. Gucci's saying that it looks like they play in Baltimore. So true. What they gonna do here? What bollockers gonna do? This thing's tied 7-7 seven seven so far. Both teams pretty equal. Here we go. Passes it. Jerry Parker, he's gone. Where, where is the hackers' defense? They invested all this time in the draft and didn't even focus on their defense, and they're going to call the time out there. Mobzilla, on the other hand, he didn't care about anything else but his defense because everybody took it from him in the second season. Trying to avenge the wrongs that happened. Juke that guy out. Was that like he was going to juke him too. Courtney Wallace, 18 yard run, and they're gonna call for another timeout. Be naming these people. They got a minute and 12 here. Honestly, would have believed they would have, you know, wasted the time. It gives less time for the Austin Hackers, and it's gonna be another touchdown. Or it's Jerry the Austin Parker. Hackers, and I got to look confused. The Austin Hackers scored a touchdown. They wish. We go. Can they make the kick? Let's see what. Sharon, Shannon Lind can do right down the middle. The kick is good. What happens when you have an overall of over 95 as your kicker? And it goes down in, and he just got another field goal from like the 25 on the other side. Should have gotten a point for that one. All right, let's see what Austin Hackers can do again. We saw they ran 50 yards Austin last time. Do. Oh my God. Oh my god, both of these defensive teams suck, holy shit! Darren Randall, 56 yard run. I think the record I genuinely still goes thought that was Clyde Roblox Ellis. for a second and my heart like skipped the beat. That record goes to Clyde Ellis. He had like 60, 70 yard runs in this game. That's it, he juked that guy. I couldn't get a first down though. Still so close, but so far away. I, what they going to do? Passes into Shelton Shett. Dexter Woods made him lose a yard. This MF's name really, really named Shelton Sh Shett. And he's going to go for the field goal here. And they get it right down the middle. Not exactly, but he's still got the kick in. Victor Carey. Nice play there. We're going to call the halftime here. Dutch started throwing it back, and that's how we did the halftime performance. No. Stand up, Bainbridge. Get your lazy asses out of out of those chairs. Out of those stands, despite the fact you paid for the tickets. Ready, break. Razor, razor. What they going to do? Austin Hackers pass it to Johnson here, and he's gone. This Here to God, if they lose again. to the Austin Hackers. <laughs> so true. Listen, if I had to lose to a team called the Austin Hackers, I mean, Glad I'm I'd be in disappointed conflict. in my team, too. Thinking about it, going long here, and once again gets tackled, but it didn't work out too well. Shelton shit with a 23-yard catch. Got to take him from my team next season. Only because of the funny name. Bennett, not exactly first down. Last play was an eight yard run. You see the stats there for the duration of the game. There we go. There's a guy wide open over there. And it's going to be the touchdown. He literally did like a triple backflip there when he got tackled. Calvin Cooper, nine yard catch. Seems like Austin Hackers are going to take the lead here in this game. Did it up for the kick? And the kick is good. Not a single one, not a single time someone has missed that kick. Other than like the red names, but that was more of a tackle. They got to the kicker. 
another touchback. How many touchbacks are these guys gonna have? This is ridiculous. Passes it to Gary Parker and literally took like two guys there. 28 yards on the field. They got a long way to go. If they want to make a touchdown, I got to take things nice and simple. Not so well for them because they got third and short. Not exactly enough for first down. Where Parker's gone. Yep. Parker, bro, where is these guys' defense? They show up at like the very last second when these guys make a touchdown. They stand around on the other side of the field doing nothing, and it's going to be a fourth quarter now. Still anyone's game here, but since ball lickers have the ball here, they can definitely still win this. He's going to run it. There's the defense on the other side of the field and it's a touchdown once again by Jerry Parker. He's got three in the duration of this entire game. Very impressive. Literally made all the touchdowns tonight. Goes for the kick and it's good. Therese, Therese, Shannon Lind with another casual W kick. Score 17 to 21. Austin Hacker's got to do something about this. They got to go in and gl glitch the scoreboard. They got to go in and change their playbook. Anything they need to do to win this. This is it. And it's a fumble. And they got recovered there. First fumble of the season went for the Austin Hackers. But luckily for them, they were still able to keep the ball in their possession. Would have been a disaster if, if Ball Lickers ended up getting it. They just speared that guy. Speared it right out of his soul. AC Van Dyke gives him a three yard loss. They are way far out. They got a lot to do. You gotta go for a long pass. You're out of desperation. And it gets deflected. Chris Wayne making sure that he doesn't get the catch here. Owens passing it going long and it's Johnson that catches it out. Sean Johnson 35 yards. Austin Hackers got to call the timeout here. They're at a minute left. They have one more timeout for this game. Ball lookers aren't really too worried. They're probably going to waste up their timeouts when it's their time to play. Passes it long. Not enough. It's going to be a second down here. Ike Jenkins deflects it. A lot of desperation. Honestly, 53 seconds is still a lot of time that you can get stuff done. It seems like they're desperate now. Gets the first down though. They're going slow. They're going for a long pass. They call for the last timeout. They have no more timeouts left. They gotta rush this thing. They have no other choice but to just play out in the field. They mess up, yet they got the, they got tackled there. At this point, they gotta call these fast plays because the clock's running. 28 seconds left. Austin Hackers, can they pick up a win here tonight? Can they defeat the ball? Lickers passes it on, and there it is. 16 yards down the field. Austin Hackers still have a chance. They still have an opening. Five seconds left. They went for the last play. This might be the end result. If they can get the touchdown here, they win the game. Oh my God, but Bainbridge Ball Lickers pick up the win. Dexter Woods just saved their team. This is incredible. Greatest moment in history. Austin Hackers losing here tonight. Score 21 to 17. Yeah. Here we go. Coming up next, we got the season one Super Bowl champions, the Lexington Minutemen, taking on the team that got absolutely nerfed in the second season and ended up being a whole team's looking team. pretty good the Saint team's John looking pretty Sands. good yeah it's a 79 overall compared to you know your 83 that you had from your draft pick so honestly saints have a pretty good chance of winning this thing but honestly anything maybe if can he happen. didn't draft like a 79 for an i mean an 83 for a 79 he would be in a better position but dang either way let, let's see how the end result's gonna do do for this gucci's gonna join the vc and go crazy i swear to god has like a high crime rate 
Something about British people. And St. John Saints lost the coin toss, which means that the Minutemen are going to start off this game. Immediately on the 25. Mobzilla is going to keep a very close eye on his team here tonight. Let's see how well yes, that defense will, goes. Oh. <laughs> Where's the defense, so, guys? So Come much on. for the defense. Well, Lester Alexander, God, 39 years old. I his shoes or something. Bro, you invested so much time into the defense, and this is what they do when it's their time to shine. Here we go. Passes it. Steve Swift caught it. Second and inches. Glad to see Steve Swift Steve out really of Glad to see Steve Swift on the field here tonight. He's got a lot of things under his belt. He's, he's He has football. He's made commitments with wrestling and revolt. But right now, he's, he's fully back into the Swan Lee with a six-yard run. Steve Swift can't do both at once. He's got to devote the rest of the season to football. Right after he beat Gucci at Bash at the Beach. Gucci's happy about that. Passes it. He caught it for somehow, some way. Second and short. What are they going to do now? Here we go. Passes it. To Juan Lee. Another third and short. Look at this photograph. Give it to Steve Swift. Chuck Johnson, amazing player. Definitely one of yeah, the best amazing quarterbacks player. in the league. Nick Bennett gives him a one-yard loss. Oh, Nick Bennett. Didn't you draft that guy? Uh, I think. Here we go. Chuck Johnson, former quarterback of the Florida Femboys. It looks like Steve oh, Swift's going to get goodness. the first touchdown for the Minutemen. Incredible. And Mobzola is already raging. He hates having to play against Steve Swift. They're going to try to go for the two-point conversion. Has it to Steve Swift, and Steve Swift could not do it in time. Randy Abbott stops him. Stops the Minutemen from getting an additional point. And now the ball is going to go to the Saints. Kicks it here. It's going to be another touchback. This is going to be a common occurrence. Every single one of these guys are going to throw touchbacks. Here we go. Let's see what their new quarterback can do. Throws it. Catches it out. 26 yards. Nice catch by Jerome Bennett. Let's go. We got a bunch of Bennett's on the team. Did you even focus at all on the offense? Uh, I did a bit. I got a new quarterback. That's all I remember. I don't remember who you got it from. Yeah, I think I got something else. I can't remember fully. Passes it on, though. I think I, like... No. Jermaine Beck blocks it. Making sure he can't get it. Can't get the ball in time. St. John's fighting for their life right now. They're going to get bullied if they lose here. He just juke that guy. Looks oh, like Tim go. Farr is gone. Yeah, Tim Farr, baby, though, oh. could not get a touchdown. But still, he got 45 yards down the Tim field. They get them right near the one. Yeah, four, baby. Four yard line, actually. But St. John's is doing pretty well here tonight. We go Ray Hudden passes it here. It's going to be let's a go. touchdown for the Saints. Tim Farr. Tim Farr, let's go. MVP of this game so far. So far, Tim Farr. Yeah, go I, get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Let's see how well their kicker can do. You don't have the best kicker, um, but, but he's good. still pretty good. And the kick is good. St. John Saints are winning this thing now. They're going to beat a Super Bowl champion the first season. They really did fall off after that season. They never recovered. I can't remember if you beat them last season or not. Probably not. I think you probably did. I don't remember. Passes it. And immediately, Juan Lee gets the 11-yard pass. MVPs of this team has got to be Juan Lee, Steve Swift, and Lester Alexander. Chuck Johnson as well. Gucci had some good memories with Chuck Johnson. Passes it here, and it looked like for a split second it got intercepted, but Lexington calls the timeout. 46 yards down the field. Chuck Johnson, what is he going to do? What is the pedophile going to do in this play? Passes it, and gets rocked. Rod Washington, 
Once again, Lexington call for another timeout. They know they don't have much time in this game. They can get oh, a touchdown. They're wasting their timeouts. They're, they can't be the wasting the time if they're calling timeouts. They're doing the exact opposite. Throws it, and Steve Swift caught it in time, though. They, yep, that's the last timeout of the, of the first half. Ready, break. Ready. At this point, they got no timeout, though. They, they got to run this clock here. They got to go fast. And Nick Bennett is running it here, and it seems like he gets tackled, though. Chuck Johnson, 15-yard run. They don't got any timeouts left. You got you to gotta hurry it up here. For some reason, the clock's not running. Here we go. Chuck Johnson throws it. Nice catch there by Bourne. Chris Bourne, 12-yard catch. 14 seconds left on the clock is seven, actually, now. This is going to be the last play of the game, and they're going to keep it safe here with the field kick. Oh, and it's good. Uh, Montreal Hughes saves it here. Don't forget that you're going to end up... You're going to, yeah, don't forget you're getting the ball in the second half. Let's go. Because they lost the coin toss. So now it's time for the Saints to play here tonight. Kicks it out. It's going to be another touchback. Oh, they nearly hit a fan. There's been plenty of instances tonight where it did hit a fan. Let's see what he can do. You know, thinking about it, he's thinking about it, calculating. He did all of that thinking. Really, really oh, oh my god, the referee's time. dead. The referee fucking died. Uh, even, even in DFL. You, ain't nobody safe in the DFL. I think it's just our server organizations that the refs just have a hard time. And goodness oh. gracious. Bill Antoine made him lose 10 yards. 10 yards lost. Oh my goodness. Pretty bad right now for the for the Saints. Yeah, it's a little not bit the intimidated best, but we still by the got extra two time. points they have. Passes it here to the running back. Tim Farr gets tackled though, and it's gonna be a fourth down. If they're smart, they gotta try to good. get a first here. They might probably go for a field kick. Yep, they're going for a field kick. Honestly, fair fair to them. Kudos to them. Here we go. Catches it. And the defense. Not really defense, but still. Gets him in time there. Ready, break. Ready. And now the ball's back on the minute, man. St. John Saints could not do enough. And they're going to get the ball. It's going to be in the fourth quarter. Glenn, Glenn, fault. I'm not saying that word. No, no. Not, not the I can, word. I can say ass wipes. Yeah. Throws it. Nice catch there by Lester Alexander. Juke Bro. that guy. First down. Incredible. The Minutemen fans in the stadium are losing their rocker right now. All like 15 of them. True. The rest of the people are just big fans Chuck of the Johnson colors of their brand. Chris Bourne once again. First down for the Minutemen. They got to get go. louder for their team. That's the main disadvantage. Everyone in this stand here in Boston, Massachusetts, they absolutely despise Canadians. They are booing the hell out of <laughs> out of the St. John Saints. Ryan Antwine deflects the ball. It's going to be fourth quarter now. Oh, no. Pretty close game right now, honestly. Yeah. But still, they got to they gotta not make a touchdown if they want to win this thing. Here we go. Passes it to Lester Alexander. Defense Bro. is just Bro. nowhere in sight. Bro. That guy's gone, Bro. and it's going to be Bro. a touchdown for Lester Alexander. 49-yard run. Mobzilla is raging now. Mobzilla's furious. He's going to have a word with the defense after tonight. For the two-point conversion, and he failed it. It may not be late. Too late, maybe. Yeah, it probably is. If they get a, if they get a touchdown here... And they go for the field goal, then of course it's going to be 14 to 15. Unless they go for the two point conversion, they can tie this thing. It's going to be a touchback. Not the first time. Only win. Not the first time the St. John Saints have tied a game. They faced the Economist that one time they tied it. The only other record of a tied game, and goodness oh, go. gracious, Tim Farr is gone. Oh, come on, come on, keep running, keep running, Tim Farr. 61 yards down on the go field. Go Tim Farr. And they immediately call the timeout because they want to save up as much time as possible. Now the Saints are mad. Now they're pissed off. 
they're not gonna take this so like oh. I said, they're not gonna take this opportunity for granted but they went for another timeout they're definitely trying to save time here which may have been their strategy from the registration in the beginning here you go Ray Hudden throws it out on the field it's gonna be a touchdown go. for BJ Tucker this man's name is BJ you know what else stands for BJ um uh Brook Brooklyn Jones or what whatever I don't know of course I said good for the two-point conversion no. but it was not enough Bo George stopped him that might have been the only opportunity the Saints had to tie Very this stupid game stupid name in my opinion Bo George Picks that out on the field. Another touchback. Disastrous. We get like an interception or something. We've already had a fumble tonight. Here we go. If Johnson has it out to Warren. And then St. John call for a timeout. I think this might be their last time. Yep, this is their last timeout. Minutemen have three timeouts they can use, and they might do it for this round. With St. John's, they just have to play good defense here. And it doesn't look like they were doing so well in the beginning. Here we go, Chuck Johnson. At this point, they're gonna stall the time. Rod Washington no. runs it here. First down. Bob Zilla is gonna be crying in his What's pillow. What's the Chicago after Washington reference? Yes, the Chicago Washington. I just hope they don't go like 10 and 0 like the last season. If I go zero it? Oh and my one. lord! I mean, zero and Glenn 10. Falk made him lose four Let's yards go. there. Jesus. Yep, this is gonna be the last play of the game. No. Oh. Unless out of a pure miracle they fumble it and then they just absolutely drop it. Oh my lord. Four seconds no. actually deflected by Lionel Clement, which is like their 99 over. They're overall. trying their best. Come on, guys. Let's get an interception going. Went for the kick. Is it going to be good? No. Apparently made it. Dontrell Hughes picks up a win. It's literally just the first game of the Stupid season. Thunder. Obviously, you got like 10 more games. But still, the Lexington Minutemen, they find, can they pick up the momentum that they lost in the no. second season? Can they become no, two-time Super Bowl champions? That is, no. that is a funny thing. True. They're not going to win this thing. Either way, big victory for them. All right, coming up next, we got a rookie team of the Loaded Diapers making their debut here tonight against one of the worst teams in DFL history, the Pickle Lake Regards. Let's see how terrible these two teams can do when they collide. Well, they gonna kick it out on the field. They playing hometown. But it's gonna be a touchback. Ready, break. Ain't no way. All right, let's see what they can do here. None of these teams made any draft picks, but it doesn't look like it. Yeah, they got 38 yards left. Derek Langford got a 40-yard catch. They're representing Roger Kefley. No Hank Mays, quarterback, thinking about who to pass it to, goes onto the side there. Like it went so well for him. Here you go, Bays. Quarterback here, thinking about where to pass it. Two catches it with one hand. Robert McDaniel with a four yard catch. They're taking things nice and steady. The Pickle Lake regards the. The biggest game that's going to be for them this season is going to be that game against the Barnacles. There's no doubt about it. We guards and the Barnacles both terrible teams. And when you put them together, it's just going to be an overtime game of 0-0. Zero zero. Cool. Looks like quarterback's running it here, and it's going to be a touchdown for Loaded Diapers as Hank Mays gets the 11-yard run. Impressive performance by him. Seems like they're going to set up for the kick now. Here we go. Gets it. In time. Right down the middle. It's going to be good. Loaded diapers with the victory here so far in the beginning of this game. 
Nickel Lake Regards might not be able to say the same thing. Uh, let's see what the Regards can do. Let's see what Josh Anderson's got up his sleeve. Even though he's not wearing any sleeves and he gets tackled. It's going to be second and two. Anderson passes it to Sharp and the defense is gone. No defense whatsoever from the loaded diapers until now. Good run there by Russell Sharp. 48 yard run. It's gonna be the second quarter now. Let's see what these guys can do. Oh Anderson passed it over to his wide receiver. Now the wide receiver is gone and he gets the touchdown. Bryce Watson, 19-yard run. He's going to almost tie this game. He's going to go for the extra point. In this case, the kick. He gets it successfully right down the middle. The kick is good. But the home team now. They're going to receive the ball. They're going to get the touchback. Pretty tied game between two teams that are absolute dog shit. Here we go. Falls in. Not doing well for him, and it looks like he missed the catch. Was not close enough in time to get it. That's the issue with loaded diapers. If they don't have a good if they don't have good wide receivers, honestly, it's not worth it to go for the long passes. Gets dismantled there. But he still gets a good amount of yards. They gotta do at this point. Mays once again thinking about it, catches it. Very done. And this time they call the timeout in their favor. They wanna save as much time as possible. They got two timeouts under their belt, so they can definitely use them for the second quarter. Passes it to Beck, and now Beck's out of here. Juke that guy, but he couldn't juke him that one, that one in time. Anthony Beck. And then loaded diaper call for a second timeout in this game. They got one more timeout after that. They're on their own. They got nothing left. Yo, Mays. Think about it. Calculating. Could have caught it there, honestly, but hit hit Wayne Bryant's head there. Ready, break. Mays once again thinking about it. he's taking a sweet time they're throwing all of these passes that make no sense Jason Garner didn't even move at all and he blocked it obviously these guys don't know what they're doing he passes it to Beck Beck's gone he's out of here couldn't juke the defense there and it's gonna be a touchdown for Anthony Beck 43 yard run and they're going to go for the extra point now. It seems like Loaded Diapers are going to take the lead in the first half of this game. And the kick is good. 7 of 14. Pickle League regards are the actual worst. Who would have guessed? Takes it another touchback. Josh Anderson throws it out on the field, but he has such a terrible wide receiver that he could not catch it. Ready, razor, razor. Josh Anderson's got to carry this team on his own. Thinking about it here, there's a guy right over there. He could have passed it to, and he gets tackled right in the knee. Bryce Watson gets the 15-yard catch, and they're going to call for the timeout. Ready, Got five seconds on the clock before halftime. It's gonna be the end of the game now, and almost got intercepted. He deflected it in time. And it's gonna be halftime here. Obviously, loaded diapers are getting a good amount of good amount of offense here tonight, especially when they're playing hometown here. 
They got the roar of the crowd. And the Pickle Lake Regards are receiving the ball this time for the second half of this game. Ready, break, what are they going to do? This is it. Nice pass there. Nice quick pass. And it looks like Sharp is just gone and out. And he gets tackled, though. He got 60 yards down the field. Russell Sharp, impressive feat. Passes it here once again, gets tackled, but was not enough for first down. Second and one. They're at the five yard line. They can obviously still get a touchdown here to tie this game. They're thinking about it, passing it on, and it's gonna be a touchdown by Conrad Harris. Five yard catch. If they make the kick here, of course, obviously they're gonna tie this game. We'll go back to square one, and there it is. The kick is good. Impressive play by both teams. Goes out on the field. Another touchback. It was a repeating pattern of so many of these guys doing touchbacks. The Maze thinking about it, passes it there, gonna be first down. Derek Lane for the 12 yard catch. The Maze passes it to McDaniel. Good catch by the tight end. Considering the tight end doesn't really do much in this game. He ain't giving up. So once again to Andrew Beck, gets 10 yards down. Things looking well for the home team. Everything going in their favor. If they can get the touchdown and not mess up. As is it here, Lawton is gone and out. Just juke that guy, but he still managed to get close to the end zone. With Char Lawton 24 yard run. Gotta be fourth quarter now. Loaded diapers gotta pick up a touchdown here if they wanna say they're in the lead. Risky here. Don't wanna go for any bad plays. He catches it with one hand. Barry Dunn, two yard catch for the touchdown. Now, if I were them, if I were their coach, I would go for the kick, honestly. Don't wanna risk the two point conversion. There it is, the kick is good. And loaded diapers gonna take the lead here in the last minute and 54 seconds left of this game. Goes for the kick and it's gonna be another touchback. I love seeing these guys do 50 million touchbacks. With Josh Anderson, the pressure is more on the regards right now. To get the touchdown to tie this game once again. Thinking about it, going long here, but it was not a first down. It's third and short, and the regards are going to call the timeout. At a minute and 27 seconds left. They don't want to waste up this precious time. They could get the first down here if they just go for an inside run. Instead, they got to think about this clearly, and the ball gets deflected. It's going to be a fourth down. Eric Carson saves it here for the loaded diapers. And obviously, if they go for an inside run, they could get the first down. But it doesn't seem like they want to do that. They want to go for some passes. Goes long here, and it gets deflected once again. It's going to be a turnover for the Loaded Diapers as they are going to take the win here tonight against the Pickle Lake Regard. This is a team that literally anybody could beat. So no shocker. They've got These guys were the worst team in the league last season. And it's going to stay that way. Looked like their their teammate got in the way. They couldn't run it all the way through. But still, the Pickle Lake Regards call for a touch, a, not a touchdown, a timeout. They want to save up that time. Runs it. 
It's going to be a touchdown there. Nice play by Anthony Beck. Two touchdowns throughout the duration of this game. Impressive performance. 14 to 27. He runs it, and it was not enough for the two-point conversion. They were confident that they could get it, but Carlton Adams stopped them. And honestly, there is no use anymore. Pickle Regards honestly won this or lost this thing. Because they gotta get two touchdowns in 45 seconds if they want to have a possibility of tying this game. We go regards. Josh Anderson thinking about it, going long. Completely missed. Will catches it and another tackle there. And they're gonna call for so many timeouts here. Just they're gonna waste it all. Yep, they've got no more timeouts. They got 30 seconds left. Once again, and he gets tackled. Robert Long six-yard catch. Fourteen to twenty-seven. Not looking good so far for the regards. Josh Anderson, and it's gonna be a fumble. And you see that recovered the ball there. John Mills caused a twelve-yard loss. Honestly, if they would have caught it, they could have ran it. And they could have gotten the touchdown. But still, that's gonna be the end of the game. Victory for the home team it is the loaded diapers up twenty-seven, and the pickle leg regards end it with fourteen. All right, coming up next, we got literally one of the greatest, one of the most influential teams in the history of DFL history against the Gary Pickle Faces. This is going to be a hell of a matchup. Let's see what this rookie team's got against, in my honest, humble opinion, the greatest team in the DFL, the Klondike Wolves. And usually I'm not biased when it comes to this sort of stuff, but this is exactly what I'm going to be doing. The Klondike Wolves have got a mountain to climb here. They are playing an away game against the Pickle Faces. Everyone here tonight in the stadium is rooting for the home team. Rooting for the rookie team making their debuts here. And it gets tackled down 15 yards. Brett Brandon, 17-yard catch. It'd be humiliating for the Wolves if they lost here to a team that made no draft picks. But thinking about it, going for it. And defense by the Wolves managed to weigh them out, but it's still a first down. Come on, guys, what are you doing? Here we go. It's again Lang, the tight end, second and short. It's not good enough to win this. We go Tucker, thinking about it here, kind of calculating, going long, and he caught it out, 37 yards, Brett Brandon, nice catch. Defense and the Wolves are kind of just realizing this is a different playing field that they're used to. But now Tucker, the quarterback, going to go for a pass here, and it's an interception by the Wolves. Incredible. First interception of the series goes to the Klondike Wolves. They got to be careful here. Of course, obviously, they have the ball. They stopped the pickle faces from scoring the touchdown, and they're going to run it here. Isaiah Brooks played for the Wolves last season. We got first draft, but now this is his second time playing for the team. He's obviously gained a lot more experience. Gotten a lot more comfortable with the team, and here goes Allen. Dexter Cox just runs it out here. 18-yard catch down the field. Hello, CEO. You beat the you beat the 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 12 year old team. This is incredible. Oh my lord, Roger Gore. This there was reports that there was reports after we drafted the Florida Femboys Roger Gore that you will seen crying backstage, crying tears of joy because he's no longer associated with them. Nice catch here, Dexter Cox running it out here. I love that I got a guy named Dexter Cox on the team. That's just how it is. Second quarter down in the game. Ready, break. Ready, 
Well, what they gonna do? Isaiah Brooks here. Go for the pass. Thinking about it. Calculating. Going long here, but he deflected. Pickle faces Harry Bassett. Made sure he could not get it in time. If at all. Here we go. That's for the throw here and a nice catch. Incredible play here. 36 in the field as the Klondike Wolves. Even though they're getting a, a good amount of offense in this game, they got to go long here. And once again, he caught it 28 yards down. Dexter Cox, nice 28 yard catch. They're taking things nice and slow. They're not trying to rush things in this. They got a minute left. They know that they're not going to be receiving the ball for this. For the, they're going to be receiving the ball for the next half. And looks like he could not make it in time. Honestly, you got to depend on Bill Solomon and, and Tony Pratt of the Wolves if you want to end up getting these touchdowns. Passes it to Bill Solomon. Solomon runs it into the touchdown. Six yard run for the Wolves. Gary Pickle faces. Kind of just showing everybody here that they are the rookie team. And let's see what their new kicker is made of. Gets it right down the middle, and it's going to be good. Good play by the Wolves here tonight, keeping it safe with that field goal. And now the pickle faces are going to receive the ball. The final 33 seconds of the game. 25 yards down the field. Go pickle face kind of determining where to go here, and it looks like I got tackled. Second and short. Disastrous. Ready, break. Down. Here you go, Tucker. They got nothing on my boy Sergio Salam. Well, that guy got juked. That guy got juked. Holy Jesus. He juked two guys from the defense. Hank Jackson, impressive 36 yard run, and they're going to call for the timeout. They got six seconds left. They got, they're got. they trying to get it here, and now they're going to set up for the field goal. Can they get it, though? It is it going to be good? It is. Mark Rivers, 45-yard kick. Good play. Is it going to call halftime here? Gary Pickle faces still have a chance to win this, but it's still pretty close to call here with the Klondike Wolves taking the win so far. And they're going to be receiving the ball in the second half of this. Well, obviously, the favor's more on them. Kicks it out on the field. It's going to be a touchback. Again. This time it hit the post. So let's see what Isaiah Brooks can do. You see him thinking about it. Going for the first down, and he's gone. Roger Gora out 32 yards on the field. We're so proud of having Roger Gora rep the black and blue. Here we go. Zaya Brooks. Seems like he stuttered there for a split second. Did it? Chucky Sexton. This MF named Chucky Sexton made him lose eight yards. Disastrous. We are not going to lose to a guy named Chucky Sexton. Here we go. Brooks throws it out on the field. Catch by Derek Bowman. Going to be a good close call here. Getting closer down to the first down as possible. Making sure to keep the time to their advantage throws it out to the side jukes them out it's gonna be a first down as roger gore gets his first touchdown of the season 40 yard catch and then ran it right to the end zone and the klondike wolves are going to be taking a victory here just setting up for the kick and it's good Made good draft picks throughout the made good draft picks throughout the course of the three days. That's exactly why the pickle faces are struggling here tonight. They're gonna end up being disappointed that their home that their home team is gonna lose here tonight. Here we go. Tucker and just immediately got rocked. Walter Waters made them lose one yard and pickle faces. This is gonna be a common occurrence with them. Here we go. 
Hucker. Nice catch here. Throws it out and immediately gets rocked there. Did he catch it though? No, Mike Thomas apparently deflected the ball here. I thought for sure that he would have caught it. They're on the fourth down now. Pickle face is not doing well for them. It's like that one NFL game we had this week. Here we go. Looks like Bill Solomon's going to be receiving it. Juke that guy out and he couldn't block it there. And now Wolves are going to have the ball in their possession in the fourth quarter. Pickle faces not a single touchdown that they've made throughout the duration of this game. Klondike Wolves are going to go in here and they're going to dominate. Like they said they've been. My goodness gracious, Bill Solomon just ran through these guys. And it's going to be a 65-yard run touchdown for Bill Solomon. One of the best running backs in the DFL. And he's a proud Wolves fan. Gonna go for the kick and it's right down the middle. Kick is good by Tariq Nelson. It's 21 to three. Honestly, Pickle Faces should just pack up and go home because they're not gonna win this thing. Son, damn, it hit the post perfectly, Jesus. Pickle Faces, they gotta at least score one touchdown. You, you can't be like the game with the Cowboys and not a score a single touchdown in your home stadium. Pickle faces are just struggling right now. With the first down, of course. But it's still not over. I mean, it's over at this point. We know that. They're not going to make three touchdowns in the course of a minute and 27. But throws it out on the field, gets deflected. Tom Rose deflects the ball in time. Ready, break. Ready. No pickle faces. Tucker passes it to Brandon, immediately gets dropped. Mike, yeah, at this point, Pickle Faces are pressuring them. Wolves are pressuring them to call for the timeouts. Wolves have not used a single one of their timeouts throughout the duration of this. They are just that confident that they were going to dominate the, the goddamn Pickle Faces, and he gets tackled there. Brett Brandon, gonna call for the timeout. I mean, literally, Pickle Faces could have made a touchdown earlier in the game, but of course, it got intercepted at the end zone during the fur during the beginning of this game. And now it seems like they might get the touchdown this time around. Second and short. This time, they're going to call another timeout. How many timeouts are these guys going to do? They have no more timeouts. There's 56 seconds left on the clock. They have to rush this thing. Going for, going for the pass, and it's going to be a touchdown by Brett Brandon. It took them literally four quarters to take to get a touchdown here on the Klondike Wolves. But it's not going to matter because obviously they won this thing. Oh my goodness, right down the middle he got it. The kick is good, 21-10. to Pickle Faces can at least say they scored a touchdown in front of their people. It'd be hilarious in the 49 seconds left in the game, the Klondike Wolves to score a touchdown. And it might be the case. We'll have to see. Here we go. I said to Bill Solomon. Bill Solomon, just an absolute stud on the field. 40, 50, 60 yards out. 61 yard run by Bill Solomon. This guy could possibly lead the team to the Super Bowl championship. Here we go. Runs it here. Bill Solomon once again. Just an absolute tank on the field with a first down. Showing him that does not matter. And there's going to be two seconds left on the clock. And Wolves are going to keep it safe here with the kick. And it's going to be right down the middle. It's going to be good. Tariq Nelson gets the kick as the Wolves get the victory here tonight against the Pickle, not the Pickle League regards, obviously they lost, against the Gary Pickle faces 24 to 10. How embarrassing of them. And coming up next, we got the team, the rookie team of the Bikini Bottom Barnacles, one of the most anticipated teams that we were awaiting for this season. They desperately wanted to be in it last season, and of course it didn't happen. They're going to take on the newly rebranded, of course, California Stolfos, but now they are the Netherlands Stone to Stolfos. 
and let's see what they can do against the team of the Barnacles. Let's go Bikini Bottom Barnacles. Why is it not raining out on the field? This is, this is disappointing. It's gonna be a touchback. They are playing underwater. Everyone is playing under, everyone's playing under Sandy's tree dome. Amazing by her. Thank you, Sandy. Bikini Bottom Barnacles who can throw it. Second and short. Incredible. Curry will lose his mind if he loses to the to the bikini bottom barnacles. He passes it to Bill Kelly. Actually, no. Seems like he ran the ball there, but Kerry Carter got him a four-yard loss. What Stolfos can do. Obviously, they focused a lot, emphasized on their defense, building it up. Looked like he was going to catch it there, but of course, the ball went flying everywhere. Jaquan Andrews made sure that didn't happen. And it seems like it's already the fourth down, and they're going to set up for the kick. Looks like things didn't go so well for the Bikini Bottom Barnacles. It's going to be 15 yards on the other side. Ball is going to be on the Stolfos. He passes it down here, and now Logan is just gone and out of here. 22 yards for RJ Logan. Ready, break. Down. Set. It. The tight end is just goodness gracious. Cobb is just 43 yards down the field. Dontrell Cobb just showing he is not intimidated by these bikini bottom barnacles. He passes it. Caught it. Eight yards down the field. Not enough for the first down. He's pretty close. Second quarter now. Can they pick up a win here? Can they do it? Who's going to get the touchdown? Most likely going to be the Stolfos. And there it is. Touchdown by RJ Logan with an eight-yard run. Bikini Bottom Barnacles are struggling right now without their water. Here we go. Going to go for the kick. Right down the middle. It's good. They're losing their minds right now. How could they let this happen? And now the Bikini Bottom Barnacles are going to be on the offensive side of this game. As they now have possession of the ball. Ready, break. Down. Set. Hut, hut. Here we go. Mac is just... Or Joel Kelly just didn't even want to pass the ball to anybody. He just doesn't trust the rest of his team, so he's going to take matters into his own hands. Here we go. Joe Kelly passes it to Smith. He gets seven yards down the field. Bikini Bottom Barnacles are going to call the timeout. Ready, break. Razor, razor. Set. Joe Kelly passes it. Going to be a first down. Jason Smith, 12-yard catch, and Bikini Bottom Barnacles once again. They have one more timeout left on them. They got a minute left. It's on their favor. They got to get this touchdown if they want to tie the game before, before halftime. But the Stolfos are putting up a fight, though. Let me tell you that. Ready, break. He throws it. Nice catch there. Yep, it was going to be a first down. Thought for a second it might have been third and inches, but I guess officials called it for a first. Right at the 11. Thinking about where to pass it to. Joel Kelly going to go out here, and it's an interception by Muhammad. He's gone and out. Bikini bottom barnacles. Yeah, Joel Kelly over there completely messed up the throw passed it to an Astolfo and now they have possession of the ball in the last 22 seconds of this game so much for that one but if I'm not wrong then they're going to receive the ball in the second half Charles Terry now the pressure 
is on the Astolfos. They got to make sure that they don't get a second touchdown before halftime. It's the one situation that they don't need to happen. Contemplating, going to pass it out on the field here. Eight seconds left on the clock. Brad McCaffrey, 25-yard catch. They got two seconds left. I'm gonna set this up for a kick. A nice, nice safe play right now. Oh, is it gonna be good? And it is, the kick is good. Lorenzo Carpenter, amazing kick there. 52 yards out from the field. And the, of course, the current standings is the Netherlands stolen the Sofos with 10. Bikini bottom barnacles with absolutely no points because they are so terrible. And it's going to be even worse now that the Astolfos have the ball in their possession for the second half. So much for that one. So much for trying to get the touchdown earlier. Go. Just catch there. Not a first down. Goodness. First down, of course, for the Estolfos. Here we go. Grady has it to Cobb, 11 yards down the field. For the first down, yep. Estolfos, as long as they can continuously keep getting these first downs, they get closer and closer to the end zone. And that's exactly what the Bikini Bottom Barnacles cannot afford to do as much of as much of confidence of confidence that they have here for this season obviously the Astolfos are a lot more experienced they've already had their experience playing last season compared to the bikini bottom barnacles so it's gonna be interesting to see here goes for the throw and a nice tackle Bernie Lumen seven yard catch it's gonna be what about 38 seconds left on the clock Keep him pressured. Keeny bottom barnacles. I got to get at least two touchdowns and not let the Estolfos get one. We go for a pass here and it was almost an interception, but not quite. It was close to it, but it did not happen. We go McGrady. Got to run it here. Looks like the defense is nowhere in sight other than that guy right there. 20 yards down the field for Randall McGrady. 21-yard run. And honestly, every single one of these guys got timeouts, but I feel like they're going to use them in the fourth quarter. Stone to Stolfos now. They're going to make sure to keep the time on them, making sure that they get a touchdown here. How embarrassing of the Bikini Bottom Barnacles here tonight. Fourth quarter in the game. Not a single touchdown scored, just like the Gary Pickle faces. And they're going to set up for the two-point conversion, and it's good. RJ Logan, secure in the bag for the Stone to Stolfos. Honestly, Bikini Bottom Barnacles, they're not going to win this thing now. But still, they had a dominating performance here. Bikini Bottom Barnacles, they still definitely have a lot more games in the future. This is the part where they're going to end up having like a 10 game winning streak after the night. Go Joe Kelly. Think about what to pass it to. Passes it over. And the wide receiver runs it out 35 yards. Steve Knight. Nice catch. Got to do here. What's he got to do here? A minute and 20 seconds. A minute and 27 seconds. Passes it out. I feel like that was going to be a risky throw. Bikini Bottom Barnacles are going to call the timeouts now. Now is when we can expect to see them use them. Go Joel Kelly. Star quarterback of the Bikini Bottom Barnacles. Passes it out here. Nice catch. Dukes him. And thought he could do it there, but he could not. Corwin Cates. 25-yard catch, and they're going to go for another timeout. We got one more left. They can, it's safe to say they're going to score the touchdown here, but they're not going to win the game. This is it on here. Four-yard catch. It was a risky one. And now it's even more riskier now that the Bikini Bottom Barnacles have no more timeouts left. They're at the second. Second down. 
And there it is, nice one-handed catch. Bryce London with a touchdown for the Bikini Bottom Barnacles. At this point, he's gonna have to pull a miracle out of his ass in order to beat the Astolfos in the last 50 seconds. Seconds, oh my lord. Anthony Hudson making sure they don't even get the kick down. Yogi Bear can't save them after the night, let me tell you that. And it's gonna be a touchback. Obviously, Astolfo is gonna pick up their first win here of the season. Not looking good for them so far. He passes it. Jordan, the tight end here, Derek Cobb. This is disastrous. Going to McGrady. Going to run it. And he's gone. He's out. Bikini Bottom Barnacles are just... Man, they're lacking here tonight. What are they doing? He's out. Up to... There you go. Running it. Once again, Ryan McGrady is going to go for the easy touchdown on the Bikini Bottom Barnacles. Ready, break. Honestly, how do you recover from this after this being your, your first game of the season? You lose 25 to six. The coach is gonna have a stern, their coach is gonna give a stern talking to after the night. As this game ends, 25 Astolfos, six Barnacles. And coming up next, we also have two rookie teams colliding as the Tanzania Wakatakas battle the Atlanta Booteous. One of these teams are going to pick up their first ever victory of the season. We're going to see who's going to walk out of here with the W. All right, let's get this show on the road. Let's do this. going to be another touchback. Who would have ever guessed? These guys are going to be doing touchbacks here and there. Ready, break. Razor, razor. Set. Here we go. That's it to Lamont. One yard down the field. Barely got any of it, if at all. Did absolutely break. nothing. What's he going to do here? Passes it over to Lamont, and Lamont is just gone and out. Lonnie Lamont, nice play. Here we go. Lonnie Lamont, once, my goodness, he just juked those guys, and the Wakatakas have just scored a touchdown. Goodness gracious, just ran through the defense there. Completely unfazed by what just happened. Here we go. Gonna go for the two point conversion. Was not enough, but it was still a good play. Here we go. Nice play. Oh my god, he done tackled this, this MF. Ready, break. Razor, razor. Set. Hut, hut. We go for the pass here, another tackle. By Michael Lindsay. Ready, break. Not doing well for him right now. We go, runs it, and Cotton is just gone and out. The Atlanta Booty is doing well for this game. 24 yard run. Ready, break. Ready. Here we go, Cotton. Think about it. Here go for the long pass, and it's gonna be first down. Michael Lindsay. Ready, 
I wonder what's going to happen. Going to pass it here. And just immediately got rocked. Quincy Citron, good 14-yard catch. Atlanta Booty is doing well for this right now. Still not enough to get touchdown. They're running it here, and it looks like it's going to be a touchdown for Jeff Cotton. What's he gonna do now? Passes it here. Nice play. Yep, he's absolutely gone. He's out of here. Ain't no recovering after that one. Lonnie Lamont. And you see them call the, the timeout. The very, very good play. Another one, and there it is. The Wakatakas might be possible early favorites to actually qualify for the playoffs and maybe even head to the Super Bowl just based on this play in itself. Literally the second quarter, and they're already up 8-12. to 12. And it's going to be a two-point conversion by Lonnie Lamont. Good plays here by the Wakatakas. It'll be interesting to see another rookie year for the second season in a row win a possible Super Bowl, but it's still way too early to call here. Ready, break. Razor, razor. Set. I'm going to pass it to Bender. Still not enough. They're going to call the timeout. Ready, break. Going immediately gets rocked. Not looking good so far. Ready, break. Like one, two. Like one, two. Hut, hut. There go. Thinking about it here. Gonna go for the pass, and Michael Lindsay once again running it out on the field. Third 30 yard catch, of course. See, going for the kick there, even despite all the distractions around them, Kel Blades still managed to get the kick right down the middle. That's how much of a professional he is. That's going to be halftime, folks. You got Atlanta Budius with 11, and then, of course, you got the Wakatakas with 14. Going to kick it out on the field here. It's going to be another touchback. Two hours down in the game. He passes it here to Claiborne. And now the fullback is running this thing. And it's going to be Atlanta Budius that received 44 yards. Nice play there. Good way to start off the second half of this game. Minute and 35 with Atlanta Booty is possibly getting another touchdown here again. Think about it here, going for the pass. Going wide on on the field. You see that guy try to get him, but still Michael Lindsay dodged him out of the way. 30-yard catch and then ran it right into the end zone for the touchdown. And they're going to set up for the two-point conversions. Feels like they maybe they feel like it's going to be the safest bet, but it's still pretty risky as Alan Ogden stopped him there. They got to be careful in the situations. Obviously, two-point converters, two-point conversions end up, you know, giving you an advantage in terms of over the opponent, but sometimes it's a bit too risky to do it, especially if your defense is not the best. Or your offense. Here you go, Swan. Has to get over. Going over only six yards. Barely getting some, some there. Oh, 
Ooh, dodged him there, and it looks like Lamont is running this out on the field, 36 yards. Both of these teams have just been going back and forth at each other. The score, even though there is a three-point difference in terms of the field goal, they're still pretty equal in terms of, you know, their playbook. Nice catch there, but he gets tackled down. See, they're 17 to 14. Two seconds left in the third quarter. For a pass here, and it looks like he got tackled. Waka Takas. Right now, they're doing well. They're playing here tonight in their home stadium. And now we're preparing for the fourth quarter of this. Two minutes left on the clock. I guess you could say they got to call for the two-minute warning. There you go. Passes it over to Lamont. And Lamont immediately gets blocked off by Ray Carswell. No gain whatsoever. Received no yards or neither losing any yards. There you go. Swan. They pass it to Lamont. And Lamont once again running this thing like clockwork. Another touchdown by Tanzania. They got to be receiving a record for this. Impressive feat here tonight by Tanzania. Waka Talk is going to go for the kick. And it's going to be good. 17 to 21. Atlanta Budius obviously can still recover. They can still win this thing. But they got a minute and 26 to do so. The pressure is on them. Hit the edge of the crowd there. <laughs> it worked for a touchback. All right. Interesting caller. Ready, break. Down. Here we go. This is honestly where Jeff Cotton's got to go for some good plays here. They pass it over. It's going to be a first down. And the strategy we've seen Atlanta, Atlanta Budius use throughout the rest of this night is that they like to go Ready, first downs, break. but just Down. very time pacing. They want to take things nice and slow. They don't want to rush him. They don't want to rush it. They go for the pass here. Nice catch. And now Dickey's running it out here near the 25. 34-yard catch, and they're going to call a timeout. Obviously, with a minute and seven left, you don't want to don't want to take it. You don't you want to take advantage of that. You don't want to let it waste. So Jeff Cotton thinking about it here, going for the pass. He's going to juke, not juke him out, but still. And they're going to call for the last timeout that they have on their playbook. At this point. They are at the five yard line. They have 55 seconds left. They're at the first down. They're confident to say that they might win this thing. Going for the pass here, and it's going to be a touchdown by CJ Mitchell. 40 or four yard catch here. And at this point, they're setting up for the extra point. Jeff Cotton, what's he going to do here? Passing it over, and he gets tackled. Alan Ogden stopped him in time. And they gonna run it back. Let me tell you that. Still pretty early to call. Waka Takas can definitely still get a touchdown at the 49 seconds left. Score's pretty tied with 23 to 21. It's one slip up and it's gonna cost them the win. And it's gonna be second down. Not exactly first. And they're calling timeouts now. They're going to end up wasting now their final two timeouts of the game. Of course, Budias don't have any more timeouts. It's all up to the Waka Takas of how they play on the field, and it's all about how the, how the Budias play defense. Lonnie Lamont now. And you see them going for another timeout. Saving up that time, saving up that, that clock as much as possible. For the pass here, thinking about it, it's going to be possibly first down. And there it is, it's first down. Waka Takas are confident to say that they might end up winning this thing if they get one final touchdown in 25 seconds. The booty has got to make sure they play good defense here. We're going to tackle here and another first down for Lonnie Lamont. Goodness gracious. 33 now, they, get, they reach closer and closer and the clock only gets shorter and shorter. We go Swan, passes it over. He's running it here and it's going to be one second left. Gabe Polk, 12 yard catch. Oh my God. And this is going to be the last play of the game, folks. Can the Waka Takas pull a miracle out of their ass and go for the game winning catch? And there it is, the touchdown, Corey Cooper with a game-winning touchdown 
for the Tanzania Wakatakas. Impressive here. Atlanta Booty has let their guard down for a split second and it cost them because now the Wakatakas pick up their first win here in their hometown, in their home stadium. Who would have ever guessed this would be the end result? Wakatakas with 28 and then the Atlanta Booties with 23. They were close to victory, but of course, one slip up was all it took for them to lose. And up next, we got two teams that of course were involved in the last season. We got the season two rookies, of course, they're making their return, the Latvia Eagles taking on the Detroit Darkies, of course, former Super Bowl finalists, but tonight they look to get the trophy this time for Super Bowl champions. Who's gonna win this bout? And they're playing here, and they're playing here in Latvia. Obviously, people in Latvia don't don't have any sports. They don't know what it's like to go outside. He passes it to Kaufman, and the darkies are just doesn't look like things are going so well for them in the beginning. Twenty-five yard run. Nearing the end of this, folks. No passing it here. Nelson. Of that's the defensive end, but Bannister, Wayne Bannister, not enough. Wayne Bannister, the, the quarterback of the Latvia Eagles. Thinking about it, passing it forward. Jukes that guy out, absolutely rocked him, and he's running it down 50 yards into the touchdown. Nice play by Grant Spielman. Gonna go for the extra point now. Detroit Darkies already struggling in a minute and 17. Almost a minute and 40, almost 43 seconds into this, and they're already just absolutely getting dominated by the Latvia Eagles. Going for the kick now. It's gonna be a touchback. Not looking well for them so far. Here you go, Fred Rhodes, star quarterback of the Detroit Darkies. He's been loyal to them for the last three seasons as Boss Thompson gets a 28-yard catch. It's all up to the Darkies here on how they play. It's all up to the strategy. Noticing how Eagles might play. You try to juke that guy out, even though he was unsuccessful. He got a first down. Red Road passing it out here to Mills, and it's going to be a 20 yard catch. Ron Mills, nice play there. 29 seconds, of course, obviously left for the first quarter. These games go by quickly. But just because they go by quickly, it's even more pressure for the teams because they got to get a lot more done in a very short amount of time. And it's going to be a touchdown by the fullback, Josh Evans. 16 yard run. Effort, eff, very effortlessly, he made that run happen. And Darkey's now going to set up for the kick. Right down the middle. The people in the crowd now get a free football. It's going to be a touchback. Yep, it's a touchback. Who would have ever guessed? Ready, We're running here, completely missed. Chris Matthews with an 11-yard loss. Pretty bad for the Darkies, let me tell you that. Pretty bad for the Eagles, actually, because they're the ones that have the ball. Think about it, passes it over to the wide receiver. Now Kaufman is gone and out. He's got to have those guys protect him, but they're too busy running out on the field instead of, you know, protecting the guy with the ball. Focused on themselves. And we now reach the second quarter of this game. Eagles 7, and then... You got the, the darkies with seven as well. Passing it here, and it looks like Spielman just dodged that guy, and Spielman's gone and out 50 yards a second time. 53-yard run, another touchdown for the Latvia Eagles. They made some pretty good draft picks. 
during the duration of the third of the season of the draft, and it looks like that backfired for them. Trey Nelson blocked the kick. As I was saying, I mean, obviously Latvia Eagles, we're gonna we're seeing what they're made of now. We're seeing what they're capable of now that they had the first round draft picks from the duration of the of the three nights of the draft. They were the first ones to go at it because their team obviously sucked last season. It seems like their drafts are doing well for them now. Things are going well in their favor. Went after the knee there for the for the tackle. It's all up to them at this point. The Solomon running it. Defense is nowhere to be seen. That guy flew. And another 49 yards there by Michael Solomon. Darkies now on a roll. Darkies are not going to take this L so easily. Despite it being the second quarter, they're not going down like that before the before the halftime. Thinking about it. They pass it over. Going to be a first down into the touchdown. Nice calculated precision. Marty Robinson gets the touchdown for the team. going to be the kick is good. The kick is going to be very good. Maybe a little bit too good. And it's going to be another touchback. We really need to adjust these sliders. Ready, break. Ready. Black, Yo, Eagles, Wayne Bannister. Going to pass it on to the Oh, my God, though, Carey has just gone and out. 72 yards out on the field. And I th yeah, it's not a touchdown, but they were close there to get to the one. Wow. Eagles are just showing that those draft picks got useful. And there it is, the touchdown. Grant Spielman with a one yard run, very effortlessly. Detroit Darkies now kind of shaking in their boots right now. Eagles could definitely be the leaders of the Group B conference. And another two points for the Eagles. They went for that two-point conversion because that's just how confident they were in this team. How confident they were in this game against the Darkies. It's going to be another touchback. Cool. Red Rhodes, going to pass it on forward to Robinson, going to get 19 yards down on the field. They're going to call for the touchdowns, not for the touchdowns, they're going to call for the timeouts. Obviously, since there's 11 seconds, you can't really waste all of your, your timeouts now. Go Rhodes, going to pass it on. Nice catch by Robinson, two seconds down, and they're going to go for another timeout. It's not really going to change the fact of anything in this game. They can't waste the last timeout since they got two seconds left. They're going to get a touchdown here, and they're just going to absolutely just throw this game for the final seconds when there is. It's going to be halftime now. As the Latvia Eagles take the lead here tonight with 21 and the Detroit Darkies with 14. They still got, still got to get a touchdown to at least tie this game. And since they're going to be on the receiving end for this second half, that's exactly what they're going to try to attempt. It's going to be a touchback. Latvia Eagles playing very well here tonight. For these people's first time watching a football game, they're pretty impressed of what their team can do. Not their first time, but I guess the first time of the season. Michael Solomon with a nice 13-yard run. Ninety-one rushing yards total by the Darkies. Very impressive for them. Very cool. Nice catch, seven yards. Ready, break. Down. Fred Rhodes has got to think of something here. Got to calculate. It's gonna be a first down. Obviously, those guys. Just, I don't know what happened there. We got thirty-seven yards in the field. Now, Eagles are gonna. Pressure's more on the Eagles now. They gotta realize that they gotta get a touchdown. But still, obviously, they gotta get a touchdown. We're in the third quarter, but now Darkies are more pressure to get one so they can tie this thing. That way, the fourth quarter is just an absolute. Ready, 
going to be an absolute menacing moment. Football. I love football. Going for the throw here, and he, yeah, he got the touchdown in time. Marty Robinson, even surrounded by like three guys over there, he still managed to catch the ball. Are you streaming this? Yes, we are streaming this. He's going to kick it right down the middle, and the kick is good. Now the game is tied for the fourth quarter of this thing. Obviously, there's 32 seconds left in the third one. Goes for the kick. Going to be another touchback. Obviously, every single one of these is just a touchback. Not a single time has the, has the guy receiving the punt ever done anything. Passes it here to Nelson, and not Nelson, but Kaufman. Going to be a first down. 12-yard run for the Eagles. It's pretty close to call here. Too close to call the Eagles and the Darkies, both with 21 points tied in this. And if it, oops, if it comes to a case where it has to go into overtime, then so be it. Too close to call, like the, the 2000 election. So true. The 2001 year, the 2021. The 2001 in Florida, specifically. Damn. And there goes Spielman. Oh, my Lord. 42 yards down the field. Obviously, Eagles are pretty confident here tonight. Made some good draft picks since they were the very first ones to do so. Latvia. I, I sure wonder whose team is the one in Latvia. McKean's. It's, the, McKean's is like the only European person that's active. Oh, my God. Interception there in the darkies. Making sure that Wade Bannister does not throw a touchdown there. Damn, Eagles were so close to getting a touchdown here tonight. But now the Darkies, the ball is on them. And they could still win this. It's very close to call. He went far there and 40 yards out on the field. Ron Mills, nice catch. At this point, the Latvia Eagles are literally just one slip up, one oopsie. And that's exactly how they're going to end up losing this thing. The pass yes. is nice one. Robinson just juked that guy. Gonna be first down though. And they're gonna call for the timeout. Honestly, they got two timeouts under their belt here. They're gonna end up using all of them if it's gonna be a minute and 17 left. Considering they're right in the 20. Running here, that guy's gone. It's gonna be a <laughs> touchdown <laughs> for the for just Marty got Robinson. Vibe check. That's what I'm saying. Like, he literally just, like, put his arm out and pushed him. Like, he didn't even tackle him. And now the Darkies are going to possibly win this thing. It's already night over there because, you know, it, it's different time zones. Latvia the Eagle. Fuck is Latvia time got, zone? Latvia's got, like, 4 a.m. over there. The sun is Why do you pronounce it like that? Latvia, that's how you pronounce it. It's Latvia. Whatever it is, I don't care. They got a minute and five. Obviously, you know, they can at least tie this game. But after the, the, the slip up that happened earlier before the interception. The pass it here. Yeah, they're struggling now. There are Woods. Now the, the Darkies defense is playing well now. They know that they got 54 seconds left. The best they can do in this situation is just stop them from getting any more yards. And Bannister, he's going to just go desperate. He's going to go for some long throws. And here it is. Kaufman though gets out 37 yards. And Lot or Latvia Eagles, I guess I don't fucking know how you pronounce it. They go for the timeout. We go Bannister. You gotta think of something. You can't mess up the second time around. Has it here? I don't think it's gonna be a first down, but it's gonna be second in inches. Calls for another timeout. They have one more left. 30 seconds on the clock. At least to tie this game. We pass it out here and it's going to be 8 yards for a first down. Going for another timeout. They're trying to save up the time as much as possible. They have no more actually. 24 seconds left. Best case scenario is that they tie this game. But this is pretty difficult here. For Lavia Eagles as Detroit Darkies play outstanding defense for the first down. 8 yards in here. They're at the eight yard line. There's obviously a lot of pressure on the Darkies. A lot of pressure on them to keep the ball contained and it's going to be a touchdown by Gary Kaufman. This thing's gonna end up getting tied. Unless 
They, um, they got to go for a two-point conversion here, don't they? Yeah, they're going for the two-point conversion. If they make this thing, they end up they end up winning the game. Going for it, and there it is. So effortlessly, Robert Carey got in the way. Was wide open, and that's going to be the end of this matchup. As Detroit Darkies, they were close to victory, but the people of Latvia are screaming because they never have sports over there. And they pick up a win here in their hometown. No, there's hockey. 29. No, they don't play hockey in Latvia. What are you on about? And coming up next, we got the team. We got a classic rivalry being renewed out here with the Florida Femboys taking on the team that went like 8-0 last season until they eventually lost to the growl. It's the Chicago Washington. Who's going to win this game? It's going to be interesting to watch. Let's see how let's see how well Gucci did his draft picks. Obviously, he likes to brag that he makes good draft picks. He's going to end up losing this thing. They ended up being one of the finalists of the playoffs last season. Of course, they lost to the, the freaking Hell Hamburglers, a team that did no draft picks. And here we go, running it here, Rot. Magia, six yards in. And Gucci's got to be here to coach the team. Here we go. Their new, yes. their new, their new quarterback, Young, and then pass it to Nate Hudson. Nate Hudson's gone and out. 30, 40 yards out on the field. Do nice I even, play, do I even have a team? No, I don't because I'm. You did not them. register one. I think you can you can just co be a co-owner. You gotta ask somebody to if you can manage it with them. Just ask Wallet or something. Go young. Dude, that's disgusting. Here. Trent Corral is here or do do Ryko. No, that's Obviously, even worse. Obviously, just just take over Ryko's team. Ryko doesn't care about their team. What's it called? I don't fucking know the the Naples something is some some weird ass name. Naples, ew! In Italy, disgusting. Hold on, okay. the Naples Nanachis. Wh whatever the fuck that means. But they're playing Michael. against the Dallas Calif Cataphracts after this, and there it is, easy touchdown by Nate Hudson, six yard run. At very effortlessly, they are dominating the Chicago Washington. These guys are a perfect example of falling from grace. Ended up being one of the most dominant teams last season to now just getting their ass kick, asses kicked by a bunch of femboys. It's still way too early to call. Ryko after posting lolly, fur, furry lolly shit inside of the funny channel. True. And then they want to have the urge to call other people pedophiles. Yes. But let's see what the Chicago Washington do. Jason Turner, President Jay Hester, 11 yards into a first down. Obviously, things going well for them here. 10 seconds left on the first quarter. I think Raiko is like unironically schizophrenic. They mentioned they have dementia in the past, or something like that. But then again, nobody cares about him. It's going to be a second quarter now. Two minutes left. Very quick paced games here tonight. A lot of action. And you see Jay Hester just absolutely, very effortlessly. Oh my god, that guy got tackled for no reason. He literally trying to protect Jay Hester and he got, got killed in the meanwhile. Here we go, Femboys. Got to play defense here. Let's see how good their defense fares. Not so well because they got a first down. A minute and 16 left. Them boys in the lead. Playing home, home stadium here. As the Chicago Washington now get a touchdown for this game. Junior Hackett, 16 yard run. He just absolutely shoved that guy. Made it look so effortless. And they're going to go for the kick. Snyder here. Did I say Dan Schneider gets it right down the middle and it's good. Here we go. Now the score's tied. Now the Florida Femboys, the ball's back on them. They're going to hit the edge of the crowd. It's going to be another touchback. We really got to fix this for next week. Here we go, Jason Young. Lindenberg, more like Heisenberg. 
Joe Williams, though, gets it in time for the four-yard loss. They're going backwards instead of forwards like they wanted to. Obviously, we know if you just run backwards, that's how you win. Throws it out on the field. He was right down the middle. Wide open for John Magia to catch it, and the Femboys are going to call a timeout. It's going to be the safest bet for this. Here we go, Jason Young. Running here, that guy, that guy got juked. He went up. No gain whatsoever, didn't get any yards. That just stayed where he was. They're gonna go for another try here, the second quarter. Second down, he gets absolutely speared. Might have lost, yep, lost four yards there by Joe Williams. Joe Williams is dominating here against the Femboys. Femboys have no timeouts here to save them. They got to attempt to get a touchdown here in the last 30 seconds. Thinking about it here going long? Nope, just only went five yards. And this time, seems like Washington called for the timeout. It's an interesting take. Seems like they are the ones that maybe want to get a touchdown at this hour. Here we go. Let's see how good their kicker does. Joe Kendall now. It's going to be out of bounds. Obviously, did not do so well. Ready, break. The ball's back on Washington. This is exactly why they called the timeout earlier. So that they have enough time to get a touchdown here. And it's not going to be enough because they got 34 yards in. But Jay Hester adding some yards to his statistics. And it's going to be halftime here. As the Femboys and the Wallet and the Washington team. The Chicago Washington, obviously, they're tied 7-7. Back from square one for the second half. Goes for the kick now, gonna be another touchback. Wow, who would have ever guessed? Ready, break. Ready. Go Washington. Jason Turner, he's not waiting on anybody. He's just running this thing on his own. He might as well, he got 28 yards in. Once again, Jason Turner has got to think of a plan here. Obviously, Femboys are a good team, of course, but it seems like Edwin Jackson is starting to pick up the momentum for the Chicago Washington. Can they pull up? Can they pull back that miracle from last season where they went absolutely undefeated for the majority of the season? See him going for the pass there, and it seems like it's gonna be a touchdown for Dexter Payton as the Chicago Washington now take the lead. He's setting up the kick here, and it's going to be right down the middle, and it's good. Washington with 14, Femboys with 7. Femboys still got a chance to recover and tie this game before the fourth quarter, which might be their best-case scenario. Femboys, they're throwing it here, going up 11 yards. It was a risky throw. There was a lot of, a lot of things happening all at once there. Here we go. Femboys now. Nate Hudson runs in for the first down, taking things nice and slow. They don't want to rush things. I know they got 33 seconds left. Now 21 actually, but. I know they want to take their time. Then the fourth quarter, things will be tied up. Throws the ball out on the wide open field for Trent Holland. It's going to be 30 yards in. Former Browse tight end, of course. We heard the, we saw the tweets with the, the, the Florida Femboy saying that Trent Holland was crying tears of joy after he got drafted from the growl. He seems like he's finally getting some play time here. Gets tackled though into a first down. Trent Holland now picking up the pace for the Femboys. Fourth quarter now, underway. Them boys have an opportunity to still tie this thing. Could be another Darkies and Eagles moment for this game. He's running it here, and it seems like seems like young Jason Young here gonna get an eight-yard run for his first touchdown of the season. 
They're gonna set up an extra point here. Might as well. Nope, they're going for a two-point conversion. They're feeling lucky here, but if they fail this, this is not gonna be good on there. And then there it is, successful two-point conversion. John Magia gets it there. Them boys, they played a they went for a risky play there, but it was as the saying goes, it's high risk, high reward. And now they don't really have to worry much. Obviously, you know, they could Washington could still get a touchdown. Fem boys, if they went one as well, I mean, you're gonna have that one point lead. Here we go. Chicago. Throwing it in the field here. Not gonna be a first down. Obviously, these guys have timeouts. Feels like Washington is gonna end up calling all three of their timeouts in this in this part of the game. Running it here, and it seems like Jason Turner's got wide open space to run the ball here but he gets tackled out in 27 and they're calling for the timeout like i mentioned a minute and 15. the pressure is going to be on the fem boys if they're the ones that have like 30 seconds on the clock and they need to get a touchdown for this and that's why their defense is stopping them here don boyd gives them a two yard loss and now the washington are got to call the timeout Ready, them boys have to play good defense here. They have to pressure them. They have to hold them back. Or else things are only going to get worse from here, and it might be a first down. Nope, it's going to be third and inches. Washington got to get desperate here. They got to get desperate to get that first down for the last minute of the game. Them boys, they got to be careful how they play here. Going for the long pass, and he gets tackled, but it's not enough. No matter how that tackle went, he got a first down. And now Chicago, Washington are safe to say they're going to get a touchdown here. Unless an interception occurs or a fumble. So Jason Turner going to throw it out on the field. Wide open for the touchdown for John Clausen. 14-yard catch. And the Fem Boys now, they're feeling the pressure. The Fem Boys know that in 35 seconds, they got to get a touchdown. If they wanted to win this thing, two-point conversion failed. And now Jay Abraham stopped them. And now it's up to the Fem Boys at this point. Fem Boys have got to play it safe here. They still have all their touchdowns. Still playing it safe right now. And they're going to go for another touchback. 35 seconds. Fem Boys, they have to pull a touchdown here if they want to win this. Here we go. Young. Magia now running it out 25 yards here. And they're going to call for the timeout. Got to save that clock here. Do not let it run whatsoever. Halfway down the field now. Young. Quarterback here. He's got to think of a plan. He's got to pass it forward. No, he's running it. Not enough, though. He barely got it there, but Femboys are going to call for another timeout. 47 once again. Only got like a couple of yards there. Not if, if at all. 17 seconds left. Femboys feeling the pressure. Throwing it out on the middle of the field, and now Magia gets tackled at 33. Calls for another timeout. Six seconds left on the clock. If they can make this play here, they win the game. No pressure whatsoever. Here we go, Young. They throw the ball here. It's wide open for the touchdown. Magia with the game winning touchdown. 20 to 21 for the Femboys. Good way for them to start the season. Good way for the Washington to not get their egos ahead of themselves by going like 10 and 0 this season. And the kick is going to be good. That two point conversion from earlier in the game might be the saving grace from this. As the Florida Fem Boys pick up a win with 22 to 20. Gucci's so ecstatic right now. And of course, what the hell happened here? What is happening? Why am I seeing this? I don't care. Why can't I do? What the hell? And of course, anyways, we still have our last. We have our last game of the night. Of course, for the first season, we have the Naples Nanachis of Ryko's team taking on Golden Mosin's team of the Dallas Cataphracts. Both new teams in this season. Let's see how they how well they can fare. Let's see what they're made of. Is the Nanachis playing hometown against the Dallas Cataphracts? Another touchback. Uh, Disastrous. Ready, of course, it was a hell of a game tonight. Amazing matchups. There's a lot of intense moments. Eric Knight passing it here to Taylor, and he's running it here 34 yards. 
Otis Taylor, 36 yard catch. Very good. Very nice. You know, Derek Knight, they got to pull some here. Pass it onto the field, and it looks like it's going to go 29 yards. Hugh Spence with a 30 yard catch. Obviously, you know, the Dallas Cataphracts, this is their debut game, as well as the Naples and the Nanachis. Maybe the Cataphracts are the more favorites for this, and it seems like they got tackled right at the one yard line. Obviously not enough to get a touchdown just yet. We go night running here once again gets tackled near the end zone. Deion Johnson stops him. Cataphracts focusing on their defense from the duration of the draft and it seems like that plan worked for them here. It's coming into full effect. Now Knight once again gonna pass it long here and instead it's a touchdown by Hugh Spence. Six seconds left in the first quarter. Got to set up for the extra point. Watch out here. Right down the middle is, it is good. We haven't seen anybody in a fail this as of yet. It's definitely a possibility of that happening. The Cataphracts are going to be receiving the ball now. Well, let's see what these guys can do on the field against a team like the Naples Nanachis. And right now immediately dodged a bunch of them, but got the first down here, Dustin Coleman with a 14 yard run. Ready, break. Down. Set. Hut, hut. Here we go. Forrest. Lewis here instead it looks like he's thinking he was thinking too much about it but it seems like it went for his favor because he got the touchdown this time not the touchdown he got the the first down maybe throwing it felt like he maybe felt like throwing it was a bit too risky so he just ran into the first down here and that's exactly what happened and now Coleman just goes right into the touchdown 48 yard run very nice very impressive the Nachis are now struggling on the field here. Here we go, kicking it right down the middle and this thing's gonna be tied for the second quarter. The Nachis gonna receive the ball now. Another touchback, how crazy. Passes it here to Higgins. Gonna be 10 yards in. Not enough to get a window. Here go passes it. Spence only gets seven yards in and they're gonna call a timeout. Renachis, I gotta feel the pressure now. Obviously they received the ball the first half. We're playing hometown, so obviously people are a lot more favored on them. And Knight, though, running it out here. Derek Knight, good 26 yard run. Oh, that was for the timeout, though. The Nachi's best case scenario is they're going for the timeouts here. Trying to get a touchdown before the end of this, of this, of this first half. Now you got a guy protecting him over there. Got to get the touchdown. Nope. Runs in 24 yards. Derek Knight is killing it on the field here. Former Ball Lickers quarterback, of course. Got drafted away after, you know, their old their old quarterback. The previous one didn't even get a play for them. And there it is, touchdown by the Naples Nanachis and Terrell Higgins. Here we go, can they make the kick ahead of it? And they do, the kick is good. Good job by Naples Nanachis. These cataphracts, let's see what they can do in the final 18 seconds of this thing. Obviously getting a lot of touchbacks for this game. Ready, break. Mike, one, two. Mike, one, two. Hut, hut. Lewis, 
Dolan trying to go long here, but instead he's running it once again and into the two seconds left of the game. Bobby Lewis runs into a first down. And the clock stopped, of course. Cataphracts have two seconds to get something done. Obviously, they're going to receive the ball again in the second half after halftime. It's interesting to see what they do here. And they get tackled in 10 yards. Gets the first down. And the Nachis take the lead for halftime as they have 14 and the Cataphracts have seven. Obviously, still anyone's game, but it seems like everything seems to be lying more in favor of the home team. Cataphract's going to receive the ball this time. Like I mentioned previously. Ready, break. Right, one, two. Right, one, two. Hut, hut. Cataphract's Lewis. And once again, Lewis seems to be doing a lot of these plays where he doesn't pass it to his part, to his teammates, but instead he just kind of hogs the ball. Ready, Obviously, you know, Gonna leave a lot of tension with you and your team. Gonna give a lot of trust issues. He's thinking about it here. Once again, he's running the ball. Can he get a first down? And he does. Lewis here feels like at the final seconds of the throw, he takes things, takes business into his own hands, and he runs it instead of passing it. And it might be a downfall for Bobby Lewis. Runs it once again. We're relying a lot on the quarterback as Greg Perry gives him a five-yard loss. Maybe a part of their playbook, let's be honest here. Maybe all part of their strategy. Lewis, gonna pass it this time to Jay Hester, the fullback. Maybe a timeout. Not a timeout. Obviously, Cataphracts are wasting up a bit of amount of the clock. Thinking about it here. Passing it on. Could not catch it. Ball was deflected by Kirk Morales. Now things are at the fourth down. Maybe, maybe you know, the, the, the quarterback might be regretting, you know, hogging the ball up during the duration of this thing. And it might be a touchback. Seems so. It's going to be a touchback here for the Naples Nanachis. Going to end up taking a victory after tonight. Still got the fourth quarter, though. Passes it here. Nice play. And now you see Wolford. 16 yards in. Keith Wolford, nice play. Got two seconds left in the third quarter. Obviously, nothing's going to happen in these final two seconds. The pressure's more on the fourth. As a majority of the duration of these games gets tackled right there, though. Was it first down, though? I don't think so. We're at the fourth quarter now. Second... In 10. Anachi's filling the pressure. Derek Knight passing it to Spence. Spence now running this thing. Cataphrax's defense nowhere to be seen until the 26 yards. Hugh Spence with a nice run. Things, only can go, things are only going to go downhill from here. The Naples Anachi's end up getting a touchdown. Going to be a guaranteed win for them. Passes it forward to Taylor. Taylor gets tackled in though. As Mitch Perez makes them lose two yards in. Ready, break. Ready. Here we go. Seems like Derek Knight's running the ball this time. Defense nowhere to be seen until there. 23 yards in. Derek Knight seems like the Naples Nanachi's got this in the bag as they're gonna pick up a victory here tonight for the first week of the DFL. Obviously, Derek Knight's going to pass it here to Spence, and it's going to be a touchdown. Impressive performance by the Naples Nanachis. Can they make the kick here? Obviously, they are. Goes right down the middle. Good play by them. As we are now in the final, the final minute of this thing. Going to be another touchback. Amazing. Ready, break. Down. Hut, hut. Here we go. And it seems like Lewis is just running this thing, but of course, got a first down. Ready, break. Razor, razor. Set. Hut, hut. 
Go passes it on long, and it's not good. Incomplete pass there. That's why he's relying too much on himself rather than passing on to his, to his partner, to his teammates. Here we go. Nice catch here. Try to run through them, but it's going to be eight yards in. Score 21 to 7. Not looking good for the Cataphracts. Rough start to the season for them so far. And it's going to be deflected. The Nachis now playing, playing strong in this. Not many people probably expected this outcome, but this is what happens. This is it on here. And now Richardson catches it. Tight end night on nine yard catch. Here we go. Four. Four is not really much. Richardson tight end though once again. This is going to be the end of the game folks. We thank you for joining us here in the first week of the Discord Football League. We still got next week's lineup which is going to be interesting obviously. Every The schedule and everything you know will be down in the description. It will be on Discord. You know you can find all that. But thank you for joining us here everybody for the Discord Football League. We got 10 more games. 10 more weeks of amazing jam-packed action and then we got playoffs after that as well thank you everybody